A lot of people don't know this, and I actually didn't know this until I started researching it, that hemp actually uh, for hemp tea comes in two different styles. There's young hemp tea and mature hemp tea. Now, young hemp tea is actually made primarily from the leaves and actually, as it says, is put, picked a little bit young, well, while the plant is younger. And mature hemp tea actually comes from the older plants and primarily from the flowers. So uh, that's a small difference there. And it changes the benefits just a little bit according to which one you're having. Now this one doesn't specify which one of the two I'm having right now. Um, there's also a third variety you can get, which is full on cannabis tea. Now hemp tea, um, of course, does not have much THC. On average, they say it's like 0.2% of uh, THC in it, so it's like negligible. So you're not gonna have any psychotropic effects from this or anything. You're not gonna suddenly say, woo, seeing things and such. Um, uh, cannabis tea, you never know. Uh, but <laughs> we won't talk about that one yet. We'll talk about it another day when we go and fall on cam cannabis tea. But uh, for hemp teas, there are a lot of different things that it's good for, including that it helps uh, symptoms of nausea. It's supposed to help, well, of course, it stimulates your appetite still. And improves various gastrointestinal fu uh, functions uh, with the stomach, including like IBS and Crohn's disease. It's supposed to help uh, relieve chronic inflammation and chronic pain. It's also supposed to be good for heart health and lung health. Um, various, uh, like I said, respiratory problems in that sense. Um, it's also supposed to be good for inhibiting seizures, apparently. So that's an interesting one that you don't see too many, uh, which is part of the reason that they actually use CBD and CBD oil uh, for people who have problems with seizures, that it actually does help with that. There's been lots of studies on this, and it's why the government needs to change this from a, um, yeah, change marijuana and cannabis from a uh, category one drug because it has so many different medical benefits. It really should not be on that list. It's also good for easing inflammation of the pancreas, and uh, various uh, social anxiety disorders like anxiety, depression, um, and actual uh, PTSD as well. So um, yeah, lots of various uh, things that it's good for, for helping to calm people, relax people. That's why it's also good for sleep. Um, it's uh, also good for things like Alzheimer's as well. So lots of different wonderful benefits. Um, very much similar to what you'll find in a normal CBD. Now, compared to CBD oil, um, uh, Hemp tea is actually, you know, preferred by some people because apparently it's a lot smoother. Obviously drinking this, um, it is very smooth. I could just drink this right down. It's that, it's that good. Um, well, I mean, it's that simple. I mean, I, I obviously would want this one a little bit stronger and therefore I'd prefer it to be better. <laughs> but it is good enough that you could just uh, drink it and drink it and some people say they have a weird effect when they have to put the CBD oil under their tongue and stuff. I don't think it has this quite the same concentration, um, but you can also use it as an inhaler in that sense as well. So there's different ways you can ingest this if you want to get the benefits of hemp. On the other side, there are some possible side effects if you uh, have way too much of it, uh, which again are very similar to anybody who knows uh, hemp and cannabis, that you can have some dizziness and you actually can cause nausea if you have too much of it as compared to helping nausea. So just enough, not too much. And otherwise, yay nausea, bad nausea. Ugh. It can also cause a bit of a dry mouth uh, kind of effect. Um, just, I guess it just depends on the kind of people that it just uh, apparently inhibits this uh, secretion of saliva. So yeah. It's just a possibility of some things that can happen to you, but nothing like seriously crazy. I mean, it's just, it is the part of the problem of uh, cannabis tea, and I'm not going to go into in depth and into as to why it shouldn't be a uh, category one drug because of all the health benefits that it has. Um, but anyways, as a tea, this is a good tea. I would give it more time to steep. They say five to seven minutes. I would probably go at least seven minutes with this one myself personally. Um, because like, but then and I liked them stronger, so I'd go seven to ten myself. But you would probably could get away with doing five to seven minutes with this type of tea and be perfectly okay. But hemp tea, man, give it a try. Yeah, well worth your time. Okay, y'all have a great tea day.